Hi everyone, I'm Mark Miklich, Technical Product Manager for Small Character Technologies here at Squid Inc. Today our video is going to be about adding a positive air kit uh, to pressurize the print head uh, on our Jetstream CIJ printer. All right, you might be wondering why we would add a positive air kit to our printer uh, or what scenario would call for that. Um, typically, uh, any dusty, dirty environment uh, or even a, a high humidity environment um, or an upshooting application. So if you're printing straight up on the bottom of a product and there's maybe some risk of debris falling uh, onto or into the printhead, we would want to introduce a positive air kit. What that does is it uh, just applies a light pressure to the inside of the print head so we have positive airflow out of the head so if there's any dust or debris or anything of that nature um, in the environment it will be pushed away from the print head or out of the print head. Uh, if we didn't have a positive air kit in this type of scenario um, normally there is actually a slight vacuum inside the print head um, so if it was a dusty environment, we would actually draw some of that dust or particulate into the print head and potentially into the system. All right, so first we'll just take a quick look at the uh, air regulator itself. So um, you would want to order this from us so we can connect this to the positive air line in the system to pressurize the print head. Uh, the Squid Ink part number for this air regulator is 200 -66 Four, five. Okay, and what you see right here is what it comes with. So we've got our filter, our regulator. Um, we do have an eighth inch to quarter inch adapter here. It does not come with that. So the one thing you'll need, uh, depending on the hardware you have in your facility, uh, we'll need an eighth inch to you know quarter inch or half inch, whatever it is, um, adapter here so you can hook up your hardware and to connect shop air to this assembly. On this side, we do have an eighth inch adapter for the tubing. Okay, so that's already here and you'll see how the tubing plugs into this. All right, so we're gonna look uh, in the back of the printer to see where that airline is. Um, it's just gonna be coiled up in the back of the machine, um, just an open-ended airline. Uh, so we'll look at where that's located and where we can fish that out of the printer to connect it to our regulator assembly. All right, so if we open up the back door of our Jetstream printer, what we're looking for is, again, just a, a coiled up tube. Um, you'll notice there's no color code or anything on this particular line. Um, so this is just gonna kind of be tucked in the system back here. Again, it's just an open end line. This is our air line. This goes all the way through the umbilical out to the print head. And we'll also take a look at where that terminates in the print head. Um, this is what we're gonna ultimately plug into that air pressure regulator assembly. So we're just gonna uncoil this real quick. Okay, so you'll notice there's only a couple of feet of the tubing in here. If you do need more, the Squid Ink part number is 200-6700, okay? Um, so you can get uh, a lot more of this tubing if you need it, if you need to run this a fur uh, further distance. Um, the outer diameter of this tubing is 3.2 millimeters. Um, it'll fit perfectly into an eighth inch adapter. Um, so again, if you do need more of this, uh, it is readily available. Um, this can be fished out of the printer uh, really a couple different ways. Um, one, we do have a lot of customers that'll just modify their printer. So you could tap an eighth inch adapter into the side of the chassis, for example, or we can actually fish this right out the bottom of the machine. Um, so you'll see in the back of the printer, we actually have a screw here that can actually be removed and we have a straight shot out the back or the bottom of the back of the machine. So we'll take that out really quick. We'll feed this out and show you how it plugs into the uh, air pressure regulator assembly. Okay, so we're just gonna feed this tube out the bottom of the printer. Okay, so the tube will fit right through the bottom of the, the chassis through this hole here. Um, I'm just gonna tip the printer forward a tiny bit to help us pull this out of the system. All right, so now we've got our air line coming out of the printer. Um, we can plug this into 
our regulator assembly now. So this is really straightforward. Again, that eighth inch adapter is already there. Just plug it in, simple as that. If you do need to remove the tubing, just compress the adapter and it slides right out. Uh, the regulator itself, um, you know, you can mount this to the printer if you want. You can mount this to the printer cart. You know, wherever you need to put this is, is perfectly fine. Um, so now really what we need to do at this point is just get shop air uh, connected to the regulator and we'll discuss uh, how this needs to be set up. All right, we don't need a whole lot of pressure uh, being delivered to the print head. Um, so once we get shop air connected to this or our air supply connected to this, um, we're just gonna dial the regulator in until we have uh, about four to five PSI. So again, it's not much, you know, we don't want anything more than that. If we deliver way too much pressure to the print head, um, it can actually impact the flight path of the droplets in the head, okay? So it could ultimately uh, kind of mess with our print quality. The droplets can get a little squirrely and kind of go all, all over the place. So four to five PSI, that's all you need. Don't go any higher than that. Um, and that will uh, create a positive airflow out of the print head. And again, keep any dust or debris from entering the head. All right, we've got our air supply connected. So all we need to do now is turn the uh, knob on our regulator. And again, we're only looking for about five, four or five PSI is fine. Again, you don't want uh, much more than that. And one really important thing, um, you know, when you're delivering uh, shop air to something like this, um, we wanna make sure it's clean air, okay? So we don't want um, any moisture or anything like that. We wanna try to avoid those scenarios. So, um, but that's about it. Really straightforward. And again, now we've got a positive airflow out of our print head. Um, so one last thing we'll do real quick is just take a peek at where that airline comes into the head. Uh, to kind of give you an idea of how this all works. All right, just to give you, you guys an idea of where that airline goes, um, we're gonna show you on the print head uh, where that's terminated. So you do not have to do this. We're just showing you where it's located. Um, so we're gonna remove this inner cover on the print head. Usually there's four screws that hold this in place just to speed this up, we've taken those out. So again, you do not have to do this. Um, once you've got the regulator hooked up, this is already pre-plumbed in here. So again, just for reference. So here's the airline right here. So it simply just comes into the print head. That's wide open. Okay, it's just sitting under this cover. So with the print head sleeve on, and we've got that little bit of, of pressure coming in here. Again, that uh, results in a positive flow, airflow, out of our little exit slot or print slot on the print head. So simple as that. Um, so again, real straightforward process. Again, if you have a dirty, dusty environment or an upshooting application, I highly recommend uh, adding this kit to the printer and just have positive air to the head. Um, it'll help protect your machine and uh, help it run much better. All right, so that wraps up our video on adding a positive air kit to our Jetstream CIJ printer. Uh, if you wanna see more videos on this or our other products, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also don't hesitate to head to squidink.com to get even more information on our product line. Thanks again.